I'm Paul Ray, former humanities professor, now a full-time writer and researcher. Let's start wide and then narrow things down. In the broadest sense, we're experiencing a truth emergency caused by what Bill Moyers calls a smog of information that constantly rolls over us. Given this information overload, we have real trouble making much sense of things. That's why we've got to see the patterns that make the particulars mean something. This is exactly what my book, Mounting Evidence, tries to do. In fact, the book's subtitle is Why We Need a New Investigation into 9-11. More importantly, it's what a truly independent investigation into 9-11 will do. When we seek the truth, we honor the victims of the tragedy. Nor are we, American citizens of conscience, firemen and steelworkers, architects and engineers, scientists and professors, the only ones calling for a real investigation. Not at all. In fact, several of the very government officials who led the earlier attempts at investigation are now joining us, along with Senator Mike Gravel. Former Senator Bob Graham, who chaired the Joint Congressional Investigation into 9-11, points out that the 28 pages the White House redacted from that investigation's report still haven't been released. Senator Graham strongly believes that some independent group should be assembled to find out what the government is still hiding from the public. Even more remarkably, 9-11 Vice Chairman Lee Hamilton now admits that I don't believe for a minute we got everything right that the 9-11 Commission was set up to fail, and that people should keep asking questions. So when the very people who conducted the previous investigations are joining us in calling for a new one, it's high time we get that task underway. There's little doubt the tragic attacks on 9-11 have become the defining events of our time, shaping much of what has followed. But even now, over a decade later, how well do we actually understand them? That's why I strongly support the voter referendum in Massachusetts and other states. 